So guys, I am in for my second upper body session of the week. This one is a pull focus session. So I'm starting with pull uh, and I'm focusing on lats mostly during this session and during this mesocycle, focusing mostly on lats. On width, um, particularly the lower lat, iliac lat, as uh, Coach Kasserman and Ed one like to call it, and developing that. So you're gonna see me go through that session today and hopefully enjoy it. I'm at Yorkies, of course. This is my new home and uh, I'm excited to take you through this session. I keep looking all over the place because I'm on my phone trying to find out where this front facing camera actually is. I think it's like here. Once. You got a gold watch, but I got a silver tongue I lay the beat down, you can drink my punch I am the king of this jungle, you can sit down, son you never have to You'll notice here that I'm using the D-handles attached to here And that's basically because it puts my wrist in a neutral position Which ultimately allows me to keep my elbow closer to my body And keeps the alignment of the resistance in line with my lower lats and the lats in general and so i'm kind of trying to come in this kind of arc motion where i'm like leaning forward rather than like just up i'm trying to like lead forward where the lats can come through um, in terms of how they align on the body and when you see it on an anatomy chart the lats aren't like shooting up they're kind of like coming up and forward and so that's what i'm trying to kind of arc and then pull down elbow to the hip uh, and yeah, you're hopefully seeing that and I don't just let my like scapula or shoulder blade just like shoot up and that will take the tension away from where I want it. So I try and keep that scapula kind of down, you know, just lead up and that might lead to my elbow not even fully straightening because again, that will take tension away from, away from where I want it. And this is quite a specific movement, not necessary for everyone. If you really want to target that lower portion of the lat musculature, this sort of movement can be really beneficial. Me stuck in this race And I'm about to get even I'm breaking out of this cage And it's about to get heated Hot lava and flames I'm a freight train Coming to see you You got me stuck in this Stuck in this Stuck in this A choo-choo train coming round the track You're gonna wish we never met a choo choo train coming round the track, making sure you don't forget. You got me stuck in this race, and I'm about to get even. I'm breaking out of this cage. Something I actually highly recommend, guys. Versa grips, have those in your gym bag, and also some soft handled uh, material D handles because they can be great for putting over machines and stuff. A bit more of a comfortable wrist position or get you into a position you wouldn't normally be able to achieve. Shout out to RP as well. And what I'm doing now is a down set. So I did uh, three sets at a heavier weight and I've just reduced the load by 10 to 20%. Now I'm doing a down set, basically because I'm recovering well. Uh, and I can definitely perform more sets and more than that. But at that load, the SFR was dropping off basically. The, the fatigue was getting ever higher and the stimulus was getting less. I got eight, uh, 10, eight, eight actually. So normally reps drop off, I wasn't expecting to get the eight again. Um, so 
now we the load and uh, I'll be hitting a higher rep range which again will just provide me a better stimulus to fatigue to load off and that's why I include the down set. Yes, I want you guys to guess what my reps and reserves are here. But they're basically in and around one. And the reason I'm saying in and around is because I don't exactly know that it's one. I also don't need to know. Uh, I don't need to be that uh, specific. I just need to know that I'm in the zone of hard work and overloading sets. And this is overloading of last week because I've got two and a half kilos additional load on each arm uh, versus the last time that I did this for the same reps. I think I'm in and around one. And if you're feeling a little bit lost, like, oh, this like idiot that pull down sounds super complicated. What you're really just trying to think about is where's the origin and insertion of that muscle group. And you're trying to just stretch it across its origin, pull it back to its insertion and do it in quite a nice aligned way. So you're not trying to like, you're trying to have a straight path, not like a jig jagged path. So you want to just try to keep it nice and efficient. And that's what we're trying to do there. Uh, next, I'm moving on to this really great Strive machine. Strive basically previous prime and uh, now they've their their new stuff is all prime watch me level up another level another level another level we never settle now level up watch me level up watch me level up watch me watch me so the reason this is pretty great is it has this selectorized area here so you can see, like I've shown you before on some videos, you can choose where it's more overloading due to the cam and the way it's shaped. So I can make this a little bit harder in the stretched mid position versus easier in the short position, which is where the movement's harder anyway. So it'll just overall complement the back musculature a little bit more where it's stronger in the length into mid position and weaker in the shortened. So overall, I get a bit more of an equal challenge throughout the range of motion. Shit is back in your tape deck, yeah. Don't wreck head banging in the Tesla that's break neck on the road, fucking up pretty fat women and fat checks. Nigga, last test is the true that you ain't fucking with Taz. Yes, turn up the bass now. Go, go. I need the whole earth to hear my flow. My flow, bitch, act like you know. One, two, three, we been here before. Damn, how it gets so dark. Niggas act dumb when you get too small. Getting high in a damn man poor. Contact high for my damn man score. Sun, rain.
movement is complementary to the one I did before because this is working more at the mid back. As you can see, I'm really stretching over, I'm really strengthening and lengthening all of this chunk of musculature here, as well as my upper back and posterior delts. So it's hit my mid to upper back and then I'm pulling it back and really leaning a little bit to get the erectors as well. So this is really hitting a lot of my back. Um, big bang per back movement, whereas the initial one, more isolated to the kind of uh, lower to mid backs. This are the things I get. Separation. Me and my ex still fucking mess reparations. I think we need to make a whole new declaration. Make every cop killer come with a side of bacon. Nightmares of me trying to wake him. I wonder if King had that kind of patience. Allah, please follow my fragrance. Hate them, but I won't let evil pace in too. My heart like it's vacant. I feel love. Is it sadness that's raining? Spin the time changing. And I find new reasons. Yeah, don't diss me, that's treason. Me and my Eve just trying to find Eden. Till then, we keep rolling up trees. Young Dante keeps slaying these demons. Mad love for all of my heathens. Uh, switching the flow like Cheerio. Here we go. We keep the heads moving around. Merry go. Fire in my heart. Fucking with the fam. Very cold. You niggas artificial. Cherry Coke. Throw your hands in the sky. Every girl, every bloke. I'm a king. I'm a dawn on a rock. I'm a toad. Turn into a motherfucking prince when I croak. Drinking champagne, bumping prints on a boat. Wild out. Looking for the boy, but I'm miles out. Finding myself in a hideout. In a dark space, I'ma climb out. Right now, wild out. Looking for the boy, but I'm miles out. Finding myself in a hideout. In a dark space, but I'm climb out. Right now, I feel alive. Alive. I have arrived. Next on the agenda is the wide chest press machine by Bodymax. This is the first time I've ever used this chest press machine and actually works really nicely. And it's a wide chest press, but I actually feel like it, the, the kind of, the way it's aligned, the chest is more lower chest, but I actually get a fantastic stimulus from this. And typically only have been doing two sets. This is week four and then there's a cycle, but I think I'll probably only do two sets here as well, particularly because it's not really a focus it is my lower chest. Um, and today's session in particular is a focus for back more than chest so I predominantly will add sets if I add sets for the additional stimulus towards the back versus the chest um, and then maybe I'll do chest in a different session through the week where I start with chest and it is a priority for that session. And in addition to that I get a great stimulus from this so actually two sets I already have a pump after one set and uh, I get pretty well disrupted from this movement because it's pretty good. I'm doing this in the seven to 10 rep range. I've got 10 reps there and uh, okay. I feel alive. I feel alive. I feel alive. Yeah. Keep coming alive. Keep coming alive. Keep coming alive. Keep doing it right. Tonight is nice. Come alive. Tonight is nice. Come alive. A new season, go to hell, I'm through pleasing, yeah. Niggas can't see I transform and try to hit me with that Louis Stevens. I'm about to get mean and new mean and mouth shut, he freezing. He missed a bean and then for that screen I've been scheming. Need it in all black when you see him, this is that. Wake your ass up and get damn. Hit him with a concrete plan. Boy, I'm in the building like Pam. We were supposed to find new land. All we did was find new scams. Coded in Chirac, I ran into the enemy's hands. Club in his hand, hit me with the bam, 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 bam. Trying to make some shake like hands Zim up, remember, your mind is your mentor They're in the mirror, your biggest contender I'll let you December, I am the gorilla Young Che Guevara, cleansing my aura Lighting the flora, right in tomorrow Every little girl get a tiara Every boy gon' be aware of the karma Fuck around and I go Tyrannosaurus They don't want no more like I see a para Why not? These lanes try to take down my block Rise up Why not? Got lanes trying to take down my block. Might not. But fit. Go hard on gosh or the ops who are in. 
Why not? For the fan. Go hard on God, show the ops who I am. Do that thing, don't let me. 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 Do that thing. around that I'm performing I put this jumper back on and that is because that is nasty <laughs> that's the only reason for it I think if you have a more modern cable machine I've never had a problem with it rubbing on my arms but this is messy like cut into my arm that's the only reason I got the jumper uh, and with the press around the great thing with this is you get a really really good uh, nicely launched as well I get to challenge the shooting position and come around and get a really good position more so with the uh, the plate loaded press so it's a nice complimentary movement again and I'm more so focusing on upper chest versus lower or mid in general so uh, I do bias a little bit more set body here you might say why do you start with that other movement first then and that's basically because the other two sessions I start with are more incline upper chest or anterior delt focus movement a lower or mid chest so this is the only session I start out with that just for a bit of balance within the routine and a bit of undulation to mitigate stimulus and fatigue or rather put stimulus and fatigue in the best place possible and that's bodybuilding in a nutshell. Can we see Ada? Can we see her? There she is. Ada, who is this? Hello, did I shock you? <laughs> She's going bobbed. Not bobbed. Can you bring me your fish? Yeah? No, we don't do that anymore, do we? Hey? Good girl. You stay on the floor. We we'll get you. So, welcome, guys, to my humble abode. Uh, so, I'm back home and I just wanted to say that was my AM session. So I still have a PM session to do later, um, but that session took me approximately an hour. Uh, I feel pretty beat up, to be honest. Uh, that was how many sets? Nine sets for back, nine? Yes, nine sets for back in total, and then um, six sets for chest. Later, I'm gonna go in and do triceps, delts, and biceps. Um, which I probably won't record for this vlog, but hopefully you've got some insights into what was one of my upper body AM sessions. At the moment, I'm only doing upper body AM and PM. My lower body sessions, I just do all in one because it's just my lower body. And for my lower body, I either prioritize quads or hamstrings. So one of those is on the back burner. Normally it's hamstrings. And then I just do some abs, calves, and a bit of rear delt work. So it's a big session when I do those. It takes like an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the week within the mesocycle. It could take an hour at the start of the mesocycle, maybe even less actually. But as I progress in relative intensity and also in set volume, the sessions get longer. I need more recovery time, that sort of thing. Uh, so those sessions get a bit longer. So there, that was my AM upper body second of the week where I am in this mesocycle and I will for this entire off season be looking to prioritize lat width or lower lats. And so my front relaxed uh, front shots look better. And then also just across like the upper shelf. So side delts, 
anterior delts, delts in general, and then upper chest, uh, just to look thicker up top. Again, front relaxed and my front lat spread, my two weakest poses, and they're the ones I really got to bring up. As uh, an advanced competitive bodybuilder, these are some of the things you've got to do. So some of the takeaways from here won't be applicable to all of you, but I think you'll see at least something, uh, the way I lift with control of everything and the intent there as well. So guys, hopefully you've got something interesting from this. Any questions, let me know. As always, please do like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, all that good stuff. Share this with your friends. Catch you in the next one.